Hello, this is a review of Advanced Mastermind, a puzzle solving game that really exercises your mind. Now, Advanced Mastermind is for those of you who want extra difficulty and longer, ch more challenging play than the normal, um, regular Mastermind. Um, so what the Advanced Mastermind offers is a fifth peg compared to four pegs of color choices um, and two additional colors. So the normal color set, um, as we see it pictured here, what we add is two colors. We add blue and black. So there's blue and black are two new colors. So you have a fifth peg, which it offers a whole extra level of number of combinations to pick from, and two new colors. And so basically, with normal Mastermind, an adult can usually solve the game if they're trying really hard with deductive reasoning to solve it in about five or six turns and more if you're being a little bit more lazy as you're just playing for fun and aren't trying to, to challenge yourself as much. So this really offers some significant higher amount of challenge um, for the play. Now Advanced Mastermind also seems to be constructed better than this version of Mastermind, um, although this was serviceable just fine. Um, but as you notice, the pegs fall down very nicely and it can be easily inserted and taken out of the holes. Whereas in the original, you know, they the pegs had more imperfections and these, honestly, the, this may come with some, except the holes were very tight. So I can just about push them in there and you notice the pegs end up sitting at different heights. If I take this very same peg, drop it into a hole here, you can just see how um, it sits better. Now not every peg sits the same, as you notice that's still sitting higher, but it's a lot easier to take them in and out of this. Uh, the other thing to mention was that over here I found it rather difficult as an adult to get my finger in. You notice my knuckle hits up here trying to get these in and out. Um, it's perfectly serviceable, just take some um, dexterity, whereas over here you have a much smaller shield um, to flip up and down. And you can, I can get my hand much more easily right in here um, as well. Now both of these still only shield for 180 degrees for people in that direction. Um, there's no complete cover if you want to go use the restroom if anybody isn't being completely honest uh, around. So now let's talk a little bit more about how you actually play the game for those of you unfamiliar with it. So basically it's for two players. You have a code breaker and a code master. So the code master picks from the tray of pieces and they pick up a five digit or five color code and enter them in here. And you can use two of the same color if you want or all different colors. And honestly the game is more challenging with if you reuse it. Um, at least two of the same color because then there isn't a one-to-one -one correspondence between scoring pegs Oh, you know one white peg meaning one color is correct. So for example When so the code Code master comes up with the five digit code and says okay I'm ready and then the code breaker comes up with a series of combinations They try to take a guess and they take a guess and a guess and a guess and a guess and between each time The code masters turn is to score them. So they go. Let's see um, yellow Let's see, yep, one of them is right. So white peg, so right color, wrong position, white peg. Orange, nope, none. Yellow, well we already had a yellow, so I'm not gonna tell them another one. So I still say one of them was right, but this, you know, the second yellow, there was none. Purple, none, so one white peg. So then they go, use deductive reasoning. They know never, ever, ever try any of these again in the exact position that they were. So they go, I know yellow isn't here, but yellow might be right. Orange isn't here, but orange might be right, and so on and so forth. All they know is one of these colors is right and in a different position. So then they go, well, I'm not gonna try yellow here because I knew it wasn't here. No, it's not orange right here, and so on. So you try a combination. They go, well, what if I'm gonna try yellow right here? Try in a different position. Let's try orange in a different position, and then let's just try entirely different colors. Let's try white, pink, white. And then we go to score them again. We go, oh, there's a white, uh, but Let's look at this one. Right color, right position equals a red peg. Yellow or pink, right, right color, wrong position, white peg. The second white, there was no, you know, there's no second white, so we're not going to do anything. No orange and yellow, uh, right color, wrong position. So that's our second white peg, and that's how you score it. And so the code 
breaker will use deductive reasoning to try to um, analyze and know this. So now they know one of these colors is right. So in every subsequent one, they should at least make sure one of the colors matches one of the exact positions that it was in within this row. And after you try different combinations, you should be able to hone in on what the right one is. Now with five choices and two additional colors, I found that it's going to be, um, you, there's more combinations than you're probably going to actually always be able to solve. Whereas this one, if you just work at real puzzle solving skills, you should always be able to solve. Uh, but with this one, um, it may be possible that the code, the code breaker won't be able to solve it. And it adds an interesting challenge. Um, honestly, you're going to find that the games are slower, um, but keep you thinking. The code breaker spends a lot of time using deductive reasoning and double checking before they say I'm ready to be scored. Um, so you may want to consider a timer solution if you want to force the game to move faster uh, with more luck. Um, I've taken to just reading a magazine as while I'm the code master waiting for the other person to say I'm ready. Now let's talk a little bit more about the pieces they give you. So literally out of the advanced box comes this bag and this bag here. Um, there are enough pieces, although it looks like, well, gee, how can this possibly be enough? And there's a little over 40 in here and there's a little over 50 or 60, um, you know, it's five times 12, right? So there technically aren't enough pegs, um, but I'm happy to use my pegs from my other board as well, except Honestly, if you've nailed all five the first time, you're not going to need every possible combination to get there. So you end up, you really don't need that many pegs. Now they gave me more than enough um, colored pegs, I believe, but again, I just combined my set from the other mastermind. The other thing is, is um, although this is a little more convenient to get things out of these trays than it was over here in these trays, um, I personally still prefer to just use a tub to store my bags of stuff in. Um, I find it easier and I use a little glass jar, a spice jar that I picked up at the store to more easily shake out these so I don't have to keep picking them down here. Um, that's just my preference. Um, construction wise, it, here's something interesting. It seems to really want to stay inside this plastic container so I just left it. I mean I turned it upside down and shook it and it wouldn't come out. So I just leave it in there. So it's definitely an extra challenge. Um, it may turn off some to be that much more difficult, but if you really want to work your brain um, and like puzzles and deductive reasoning, I think this is great. Um, but again, I also like the regular mastermind as well. Thank you for watching the review.